In Harvest Hunt, we step into the role of Warden, tasked as a sole protector of a cursed village called Luna Nova. Drawn to its dark secrets and mysterious past, we will navigate a treacherous environment stalked by an ancient horror and delve into the village's fear-drenched fields, only to find ourselves trapped by a malevolent curse. This game is a first-person survival horror game with roguelike elements, and our goal is to survive each night, either collecting as much ambrosia as we can and escaping, or defeating the monster through the use of tools that we can unlock as we play. It's important to stay hidden, and the village is full of new dangers every single night, or every level. As long as we can collect all the ambrosia that we need before the ancient horror destroys it all, we should be okay. Maybe. I was super wrong about everything. Oh god, there he is! Juke him! Juke him around this thing! Juke him under this! Under this! Turn the light on! Go! He gone yet? Ah! Buckle up, everybody, because this is gonna be one wild and spooky ride with Harvest Hunt. Let's get on with our hunt. So there are harvest seasons. We must survive five nights in order to complete each season. Each night has different rewards, new abilities, tools, or lore entries. Some of the rewards will be uh, always be received, while others have requirements. So if you've played other sort of roguelike um, phase-based games with unlockables, then you already kind of understand the premise of this. But the twist on this is that it's a first-person horror game as well. So going through and completing the task for each season is, it's scary and it's more difficult because, you know, it spoops. <laughs> it's basically pretty spoops. Harvest Hunt is out right now on Steam for the low price of $17.99. I am giving away some free keys for this game, so if you want a free copy of this game, make sure you check the details down below. And you just might be the lucky recipient of a shiny Steam key for Harvest Hunt. Lastly, thank you so much to Neon High for sponsoring this video. Begin the hunt. I think the most terrifying thing about horror games is when you don't know what's coming or when things are like unpredictable. And I think having a roguelike sort of mechanic to a first person horror game like this is terrifying. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, so our first goal in the first map here is to collect 25 ambrosia. And, uh,. We just have to get it before the devourer contaminates it. So that means there's a little bit of a time thing, but this first level shouldn't be too bad, I don't think, since it's just the first tutorial mission. And that things will get a lot spookier as we go along. And, as we, and, and when we actually run into the monster himself, which is, or itself, I should say. I, I don't actually know if it's a boy or a girl. Vigor is full. Vigors our health, I believe. And if we get attacked by the monster, we do lose vigor. And uh, we don't we don't want to die, but this is the ambrosia that we need to pick up. Okay. They're marked by white smoke. Okay, so we, now we just have to leave. We just have to get the heck, heck and heck out of here. We're right next to an entryway. So this this level was super easy. It's just to show us how to pick up the ambrosia, basically. The next level is a little bit more spicy. Okay, we did it. What's our reward? We got a card. Use to slowly restore vigor over the course of three minutes. Okay, heal over time. Now, current night, we escape. Survive the night to equip to equip a village fortification. Survive the night to unlock a strength fortification or a tool. Okay. Whispers will affect your night differently. Remember to look through them carefully. Positives. Blessings are positives. Calamities are negatives. And monster mutations only change each season um, instead of each night. So, uh... This is the setup that we're given for this night. The devourer will leave a toxic trail of gas, which will hurt us 
Um, if we fa if we fail to banish him tonight, we will lose a ton of ambrosia, which is way more than we even have. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But if he does hit us, his attacks will deal less damage. So at least there's that. And then there's tools we can pick up as well. Offensive items and defensive items. Um, right now, the tools cost nothing because we're in the tutorial. So we're going to get all of them. <laughs> I don't really see a reason to not get all of them. So I guess there we go. Let's just begin. And now it gets a little bit spookier, everybody. Hold on to your pants. Acquire an offensive tool. Okay, so we have sort of a... Yeah, we have a vision. We have a cool, like, warden vision that allows us to see things. So the yellow things, I think, are all, like, interactables and tools. And the green things are places we need to go and visit. Oh! Okay, we can't stay in there for very long. But we're gonna go this way towards this incredibly scary church. Oh, across the blood pool. And I, I don't actually know, like, what summons the monster, except I do know that if we ring the bells, obviously he'll be alerted. Oh, we can't go under there. Uh, oh, don't fall in the hole of death either. I don't know. Maybe that's where he comes from. I'm not sure. I haven't played this game much yet, and I've only run into him the one time in the tutorial, so... Uh, we will soon be way beyond the point that I have played to. I hear him over there. Okay, we've got a tool monster vein. Um, this this we can use to summon him. To or you know, it's kind of like a distraction, I suppose. But I don't really want it. <laughs> I just really want it. Uh Let's just drop it for now. What I do want is a different offensive tool. Like, here's a pitchfork. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh god! Okay. I was super wrong about everything. Oh god, there he is! Uh oh. I, was, I think I got away and then I totally screwed it up. Juke him! Juke him! Juke him! Juke him! Ah, it's not working! It's not working! Help! Help! Turn my lantern back on. Juke him around this thing. Juke him under this. Under this. Turn the light on. Go! Oh my god, I can't turn around. It's way too scary. I can't. I can't. It's just way too scary. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Oh god! I'm going to the tree! I don't know what I'm Back on. Oh, you can only have the light off for so long. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Is he gone yet? No. I think he's still on my butt. I can't believe he hasn't killed me. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get away? I might have gone away. Holy crap, I cannot believe I actually got away. <laughs> okay. Can I see him on the map? No. I don't think so. All right, let's get all of this ambrosia since we're here. And then we need to find... Oh, oh there he is. Oh. I gotta go because I can't have my light off for too long. Oh, okay, that's just an exit. Oh god, this game is so freaking scary! Oh Please leave me alone, mister! Escape? I don't need to escape yet. Okay. Let's just try to be a little more quiet. Okay. 
Maybe there's something I can pick up here. Like there's some ambrosial loot. That's good. Okay. Wow, the first time I went through her, I like never ran into the monster and I was so confused. But this time is a different story. Different story entirely. I guess I got really lucky the first time. Okay. We really need to find some kind of offensive item. So we need to go to a different place for that. Not sure if I can walk in the water. I guess I can. What is this? A tool, a blood flask? Oh God, there he is. I can only use blood flask with, once it's filled? How do I fill it? I don't know, but this is super spook. There's a lot of vigor refills here. Do I fill it in the water? Is he like right by me? Okay, I, what I need to find is like an axe or something. Fills up with the devourer's blood when it's in close proximity. Oh, I have to be next. To, oh God, <laughs> I have to be close to him. And then I can throw it for damage. Okay. Well, I don't know how close. We're getting some ambrosia, though. That's good. Okay, I don't hear him anymore, so I don't think he's nearby. Exactly. So I should be able to explore here. Never mind, I hear him again. Okay, this is the place we were just at when we started. Level one, or night one. Is there some ambrosia here that I can get? Yes. Okay, good. God, look at that. That is like the creepiest church I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen some creepy churches in video games. There's two hatchets around. That's what I really want, is a hatchet. So I can chuck it at him from a distance. So my quest right now is to damage him with a tool of some kind. So I can either do it with this, but that requires me to fill it up first, which requires me to get close to him, which I don't want to do. So first, I think I'll just kind of like zippity doo dah around here and look for Ambrosia. I don't hear him. This is where I was before. There's a pitchfork. Pitchfork is apparently a very weak weapon. I have to hit him three times. Which is not ideal. I'd rather not do that. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... Where are you, Mr. Devourer? Ooh. It's up here. It's an altar. Okay, it's an altar with a bathtub full of blood. That's, that's nice. That's very lovely. Okay, good, we've got some more of this. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, but I don't really know for sure. I'm pretty new at this game still. So. Got a hundred ambrosia. I could summon him and then sort of hide. That might be a strat. That might be a stratagem. Oh, I found an axe. Sweet. That's what I wanted. Okay. Can I get up there? I wonder. I wonder. Okay. I think I will summon him. 
and then hide in this grass here? Oh god. Got him! I got him! Damaging the devourer causes it to drop a fragment of its body. Find this fragment using your warp power. Okay. Oh, crap. I had to turn my light back on. God. Oh, I'm so freaked out. Okay, that's that green thing is what we need. Okay, I can't believe that worked. Holy crap. Get this. Okay, then we need to go to the effigy, which is that green tree thing. Hopefully it's not super freaking far away. I don't know if it is. I think it's right there. I think we're good. I think he's over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we need to banish him. Banish the devourer. There he goes. Okay, so then we go over to where he is. Get his mask. I think we killed him. his mask. Here it is. Right on his dead body. <laughs> Got him. All right. We banished him. We got Ambro- We did not get all the Ambrosia, but that's okay. New card unlocked. Stalker. Move a lot faster while crouching. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so then we get to select cards. Warden Strength and Village Fortifications are chosen randomly from all of the unlock cards in your deck. You can decide not to acquire any cards. Choose wisely since you can only hold a limited number of strength and fortifications at a time. Okay. No cards selected. Um, I mean, I like that one. Draw a new set of strengths each night. After every successful advantage, banish game and gain Ambrosia. While acquiring, acquiring tools, choose a starting location. Um, I like that one. Let's after we banish and we get Ambrosia. Collect 200 Ambrosia in one season to learn more about it. Current hand, so we can see our equipped cards on the screen. The current hand is customizable, giving you control over how you play. These cards represent the warden's abilities. They provide your character with positive effects, such as increased speed or ability to hide. Village fortifications, these cards represent villagers working together. They allow you to redraw cards or provide additional resources and tools. Sacrifice cards you no longer want. This will allow you to try new strengths and fortifications. You can only equip new cards in your hand at the end of the night if you manage to survive. There, there is a limit on how many strengths and fortifications you can have in any given time. Choose wisely. All right. Well, I don't obviously don't want to sacrifice any of these. I think. Um, I mean, I want to use that one, but who knows if we're gonna get it? Uh, I guess we're good, right? There's a mention of supernatural feats of speed. Recovery and stealth, among others, are they exaggerated in this telling? I don't know. Unlock a strength after this night. Unlock a warden strength entry. Okay. Well, that was all very scary, and now I'd like some coffee.
Let's keep going. Listen to the whispers. What are we gonna get? Okay, that's the same. Water fiends lurk in the water, alerting the devourer to your presence. That's horrible. I don't like that. Okay, so avoid the water at all costs. And he still trails a toxic gas. Two fragments required to banish. Oh, that means I have to hit him twice. Oh, man. All right, it's getting harder. It's definitely getting harder. And this is what we're spending. We're spending vigor on tools. Um, well, Hatchet worked pretty good. Bloodfast. Flask. I don't know what... Slowly restore bigger... Bigger elixir. Um, all right. Let's get the Hatchet again. We need two, we need two Hatchets to kill him, so that means we have to get two of those. We could also use a pitchfork. But I think it's probably for the best that we only get one. But if I, if I start this with low, I could just find a vigor thing to heal myself, right? Place to create a vein that lures the devourer. Right, blood flask. Um, I guess that, oh, I can't get that because it costs too much. I guess I'll get a blood flask just in case as well. I don't know if this is a terrible idea to start the game with this low of health, but I don't know. I did find a lot of vigor things in the last time, so I'm just, just, I'm just hoping that I'll find one early on. Okay. Play your way. Banish the devourer or escape through the entry points. Oh, I don't have to banish him. Unlock and choose tools, strength, and fortifications that will work best with your playstyle. Collect Ambrosia and survive. Okay, so um, we need to collect not that much more, I guess, right? Lurking waters, toxic miasma. Okay, there's tools at the windmill. That's where I put them, so. Um, I, it's interesting that I, I don't actually... Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, let's not go in the water. It's interesting that I don't have to banish him. I can also just collect Ambrosia and leave. I'm not 100% sure how much I need, though. It says 100 left. Because he's corrupting it as he goes around, so... We also... There's a, there's, there's a big one over there, but I can't get it. Because there's jerkwads in the water. Oh, man. Okay, there's a blood flask. That's better than nothing. But I, what I really need is the ability to heal myself. Can I see the... Oh, here's one. Does it show up? It doesn't. Restore my vigor, please. Oh, nice. Okay, that was a lot. Right here. Alright, am I allowed to get this without... Did he just alert them? I think he was alerting. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave. We're gonna call that one lost. That Ambrosia's lost. Lost to the ages. I like this area. Maybe I shouldn't though. He's kind of nearby. Okay, we got some. That's good. Let's see if we can get more. Is he nearby? Because it would be nice to try to fill this up. I don't hear him anymore. He's, it seems like he's it's pretty obvious when he's nearby, right? He's pretty noisy. He's like baby baby baby. Yeah, he's that he does that noise. <laughs> okay, here's some more ambrosia. Let's get this. Good. There's a bunch around here I can grab. What's 
that. Nothing? Nothing? Oh. Oh, that probably alerts him as well. That noise. Be careful what you're walking on. Okay, here's an escape. If and when I get more ambrosia, I could use it. Fields can hide you from the devourer, but they are not foolproof. Crouching is more effective than standing, walking, and running through cone frails is much slower than normal. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's some Ambrosia. Good. I don't hear him. Is there a hatchet? Gotta get to the windmill to get the hatch, I think. Looking for ambrosia, looking for ambrosia. Looking, looking, looking. I wonder if there's gonna be like a perk I can get that allows me to see ambrosia on the map or something. That would be Amaze balls. One eighty six. One eighty six. We're getting close to our goal. Okay, I need to go to the windmill. Oh, contaminated by the. Oh, he's been through here. Is he here? Kinda sounds like it. Yeah, he's here, of course. How close do I need to be to fill this? Okay, he's just like walking around and stuff. That's annoying. Okay, watch where you're walking. I think I need to be pretty close. Okay, let's ring the bell. And hide. Oh, <laughs> I just threw that on accident out of panic. Oh god, you're so scary! Oh, you're- yeah, there you are. Okay. Oh, toxic gas. Ah! Ah! Oh no, I hate you. <laughs> I'm poisoned! Ow, 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 ow! You're still your finger. I know, I know, I'm currently panicking. Hold on. Okay, I walked through his toxic goo and everything. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I did not. I don't know how to fill up those things. I was really close to him. I just gotta go get the axe. Screw that. Screw the blood thing. Just axe all the way, man. Axe all the way. Let's go back to the windmill. Hopefully he's not there anymore. I could, I could summon him over here. He is still there. I can see his stupid green goopies. Okay. Let's bring him over here, I guess. Oh, he's so fast. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go slowly over here. Oh, 
Okay, I really need an axe. That is really, really what I need. He's, he's contaminated all of this. Oh, I was already here. Where's my axe? Where's me axe? Why can I not see? Oh, there's one. Right in front of my eyeballs this whole time. Okay. Where are you? Okay, there's also one underneath in here. Good to know, good to know. Duly noted. Duly noted. Is he over there? No, I see lots of boop happening. What's in here? Well, this is just that. Oh, he's contaminating everything. Okay, here's an escape. I don't have enough ambrosia though. Um, there's only four left, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to get enough. So I have to kill him. I think. Right? I'm pretty sure. Big ugly bloke. You really gotta be quick if you're going for the ambrosia, I guess. Be real fast. Um, do I have anywhere to hide? I guess. The thing is, I don't know where he is, so he could come from a really bad direction. Okay, gotcha. One. One. I'm stuck. It's fine. He lost me. Somehow he lost me. Okay. Oh god, this is scary. I don't like it. Right now, I've got to go do that process twice, which really stinks. Okay. It's okay though; I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. No biggie deals. No biggie deals, right? Okay, there's the tree. Turn your light on so you don't go insane. I guess if you ever light on long enough, you just start dying. I haven't, I don't think I was paying attention to that tooltip <laughs> when it popped up, but the game did tell me. Okay, there, yeah, there's just two places for it. Okay, so we can't, we gotta hit him again now. Okay. So, well, I know where the other ax is, so I'm gonna go get it. right here too. Uh oh, is he gone? There you go. Clearly he went that way because there's boop. Oh, there he is. There we go. Okay. Oh, he's still. Oh god, he's not dead. Oh. Oh. Ah! 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 oh god, I'm in the water. Oh, don't go in the goopies. Oh, don't go in the goopies. Oh, put your light out. Ah! Thank you so much. Okay. It's fine. 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 Did he drop his thingy? I don't see it. I definitely hit him, though. Didn't I? Didn't I hit him? 
thought I did. I don't see the fragment though. Well, that's not good. At least I have this. This should put me at full. So I guess I need to hit him again? And it's pitchfork, I guess. I need to hit him three times before he'll drop a fragment. But the thing is, I already hit him with two axes. Shouldn't he have dropped two fragments? I guess I'm just gonna have to like keep whacking him. <laughs> I don't know. Cover my health again. At least there's a lot of these around. You still hanging out? You still hanging out, sir? Hello. Oh, did I not get him that time? Oh, he just goes away. Okay. Dang it. I really think that he should have dropped one of his stupid thingies. Alright, come back. Uh, come back, you big jerk. Oh! It appears that timing is very important. With that. With the pitchfork, because I. Maybe I missed him with the axe, you know? I missed him. I can use it again. I could have missed. That's entirely possible. I could have missed. That could have been why he kept running towards me. That is possible. Oh, wait. Oh, it's no, it's right next to the thing. Please no. <laughs> Please no. Never mind. It's actually right next to the altar. That's why I didn't see it. Because they're both green. Okay. But the little water guys are not great for me. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, vanish. Vanish. Okay. All right, we're gonna be fine. Woo, okay. Thought I had really screwed up there, but it uh, turns out it's okay. All right, let's get his mask. Where is it? There it is. Still need to keep going to because I didn't get enough ambrosia. I think the next night I'm gonna really focus on getting as much ambrosia as I possibly can. <sighs> what did we get? Stink pot. Throw to damage the devourer, but cause it to chase you for 15 seconds. Okay. Rations recover vigor faster. Increase the range of throwable tools. Receive vigor when damaging the devourer. Um, those both seem good. I think I might go with the range because I might be able to be undetected then. It was all they could eat and only grew in Devourer Nights. Does Ambrosia attract a Devourer or vice versa? 
I don't know. To defeat the Devourer and collect Ambrosia, the congregation redesigned their surroundings. What was their plan? The villagers need a warden to protect them. Each harvest season, a new one is chosen. You will learn more about them and their aspects. Okay. Each warden starts equipped with a specific strength and faces a different mutation. Okay. By successfully completing the season, you unlock a new entry for the warden. Failing the season is not the end. You will have a chance to unlock that warden's entry later in the game. You can also unlock entries via to Luna Nova. There are different special requirements. Okay, cool. So basically there's like different characters. Okay, so here's here's all we have. Um, I guess we're fine. Listen to the whispers. What do we got? Temporarily lose hearing when detected by a fiend. What's a fiend? What the frick, <laughs> what's a fiend? Mighty Pitchfork. Strengthens the Pitchfork, dropping a fragment after only one hit. Oh my god, that's amazing. The Devourer trails a toxic gash, which damage. Okay, but actually, I don't really know how to use the Pitchfork very well. So maybe it's not amazing? I don't know, but we have to hit him three times to kill him. So at least we have the Pitchfork option. No tools acquired. Oh. Um, a hatchet. I definitely want a hatchet. Actually, I'm gonna get two hatchets. Um, and slowly restore vigor over the course of three minutes. I guess I'll get a stink pot as well. <laughs> oh boy! Oh. Boy. Okay, so the stink pot is at the church, the hatchets are at the mill. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. This is this is quite fun. I'm hoping um, you know, there's like different maps as well. We're just at the farmlands map, so I'm wondering if there's gonna be lots of different maps as we go along. Okay, so I said I said I was gonna just go right for the ambrosia situation. Try my best. So let's try to do that. I think I hear him. But I know what to expect a little bit more now. Gosh, it is really scary though when he finds you. It is very scary. There's two ambrosias here and a pitchfork. So let's take the pitchfork. Let's get this ambrosia. And try our best. As much as we can, as quickly as we can. We also need to heal. So if we find an altar thing, this, that would be good. There we go. Lovely. Is this an explodey? I wonder. I wonder. There's some ambrosia over here. going that way, so I'm going this way. Oh, he just left a stinky cloud over here. Good. Oh, he didn't corrupt this one. Is he still here? I think he left. I'm not 100% sure, but... take for the stinkies to go away. Where are you, you big icky dude? Where are you? How many left? 78 left. The devourer uses fiends to track your location. Some fiends can hear you while others can see you. Take care as fiends can alert the devourer to your presence. Oh, great. 
That thing, that thing, that thing, and that thing. Oh! Um, okay. Is there a femur? Oh, he's right there! Lost me, lost me, it's fine. I need to heal so bad. Is there a heal anywhere? If I can get to a landmark, there might be. Maybe here? Fiend? Oh, yep, it is. A f yep, it is. I see him. He's guarding that. Oh, I need that. Fridge! I think I might die this time. This isn't going well. Those fiends make everything really difficult. can't get up there to get that figure because he's there. Where's the bigger? Where's the bigger? Where's the bigger? Are you here? Oh no, I already used it. Crap. Well, I said I was gonna go right for the Ambrosia, but apparently I lied. I could go. Um, place. What is that right there? Oh, the stink pot. Thank God for that. Also, I think like learning the map will probably really help. left here? Probably not. There's axes though. And we have another vigor thing. Okay. So yeah, he's already been here contaminating everything. There's only 54 left. Um. 
If I could hit him here, that would be ideal. Because there's another axe. I just escape right now. I could just sort of take the, you know, take the. the hit. Ooh, what is he doing? I think that was a bit buggy. I wasn't able to hit him. I gained 39 Ambrosia. I don't... Okay. I didn't unlock everything. So that's that's what happened. But I didn't lose the game. <laughs> Using rations, in rations increases your maximum vigor by 5 up to maximum. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay. Receive vigor when damaging your power. I like that. Each strength or fortification sacrifice provides ambrosia. Using rations increases your maximum vigor by five. Um, wait, didn't I just pick that one? While acquiring choose, choose a starting location. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's choose a starting location. Next, unlock Antonia. Here's my current hand. Do I want to get rid of any of these? I don't think so. They're all very good. More ambrosia will appear in the farmlands. Oh, that's good. Okay. Starting vigor is halved. Your devourer trails a toxic gas which damage you to the Okay. Alright. No tools acquired. Uh, let's get... Um, I'm starting to learn what things are better than other things. I'm definitely, definitely starting to learn that. So we're already halved here. So we're just going to get, I think we're just going to get, oh, we can't even get one. Oh, God. Um, I guess I'll get the stink pot then, or two stink pots, even though it'll cause him to come after me. A bigger elixir and a blood flask. Oh boy. Apparently the axes are really good <laughs> because they're expensive. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go here first. Dingle. Ooh, that's really nice. I like the fastness. Get all this ambrosia before he does. Any anything else? Anything else? I think somebody tattled on me. I think that's what happened there. Okay. Um, we've got a minute. But I really need to heal, so here we go. Thank you. 
There's more ambrosia on the map, so I should get as much as I can. That's my that's my thinking. There was something here in the tower. It's, oh, it's up there. I see it. So it kind of like dings you when you're nearby one. And then if you go closer, it alerts him. Uh oh. That alert him? I don't know. Maybe it just alerts him if he's nearby? I don't know. Okay, there's some ambrosia over here. right here. Oh. There's a stink pot. Take the tool. Did I do it? I don't know. I don't think it did. <laughs> I I used it, but no, I don't think it damaged you. Maybe that was something else. I don't know. I don't know. This is a very panic inducing game, that's for sure. Oh, there's ambrosia in the cornfields? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, God. Okay, looks like there's still some left at the lighthouse. So I should probably go that way. lost me. What a big dummy. What a big dum dum. Big one over here. Okay. I could escape at any time. I, I have a lot. I feel pretty good about it. I just don't know. I, don't, I think I don't unlock everything if I don't defeat him, right? Or maybe it just depends on, like, how much ambrosia I get? <laughs> you know, I should probably be using the luring thing more often as well. I have the pitchfork buff anymore, so I really should pick up a different weapon. Is he there? Turn your light on. Turn your light on. Turn. Uh oh. 
My light does not work. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. It works. It was just... Get this. Ambrosia. Ambrosia, Ambrosia, and then there's a heal over there. There we go. Good. I'm honestly thinking maybe I should just go. been here yet? I think so. Yeah, I think we've been there yet already. That's why there's not a lot left. I wonder if he's also actively going for the Ambrosia or if he just like accidentally corrupts it. Oh, I think Doesn't see me yet. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody just relax. It's fine. Oh god. He's over there somewhere. Still a little bit left here that I'm trying to get. There's a bigger thing too, which I might need. Oh, it is starting to fill with blood. Okay. I can't unequip this now that it's starting to fill with blood. That's interesting. I'm stuck with it. Throw it at him? Is it full? You've directed your lantern towards the devourer. You can hide. Oh, I know. Oh. Okay. I definitely hit him, though, right? heal somewhere here. Isn't there? Yeah. Alright, and then we need to make it to altar. I don't know though. I, I gotta do this three times if I want to kill him. So I don't know if it's worth it. Might as well put it in there, right? Let's go to the windmill. I could get lots of points if I kill him and get a lot of ambrosia. I didn't get an axe. I wonder if I could find an axe, like, even if I don't pick it up. Because there seems to be other items that I don't actually buy. over here. I suppose I should get it. Okay, and the stink pot. The stink pot is definitely like one damage, or I thought it was. There's another one there. 
Well, I could lure him. He'll he'll chase me for a while. But if I just let him hit me. I know how this thing works. Oh, it's a throw. I got him. I hit him. Ambrosia right there. Okay. I'm gonna go there and get that. Okay, that's gonna be my plan, I think, is to kill him. Because there's one more stink pot. side of where he is. Okay. It's right over here. Oh, he's right there. Okay. <laughs> so, so annoying. Oh, he's leaving. I'm gonna have to go through this, though. Or am I? Nope, never mind. Fine. So I need to kill him. I need to hit him one more time. And there was a stink pot way over there. Which I guess is my only other option. Unless I pitchfork him two more times. Which is slightly inconvenient, I gotta be honest. Where's my pitch for? I'll take this just in case. I think, wasn't it this run that I pitchforked him one time? I could be wrong about that. Over here. Oh, Lord. Um. Oh, no! Dipped on some rocks. It's fine. I'm just gonna get this. <laughs> I'm... Uh, there's, there's a heal here as well that I'm gonna get. Okay, turn my light back on so I don't die horribly. Take my pitchfork. Where is the stinkies? There it is. Where are you, Stinky? Where are you? Here? Aha! Okay. So, I could summon him? Do I want to do that? Um, I don't know. It, there's no use in getting any more ambrosia, so. I. I'm gonna book it over here. Maybe I could summon him, like, right at the altar. But then I'll have to just. Oh. At 
I'm nearby the altar. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's on me again. Oh, right. I lost him for a second. <laughs> the long way. <sighs> oh. okay. Get your sanity back. And then... And it's time, baby. Banish. Let the banishing commence. There we go. Okay. I have very thorough. Let's get this. To I can't. <laughs> That's fine. We don't need it. I just wanted it. Yeah. All right. Feels good. Banished. 50 management, 20 foraging. Very good. Okay. Run and walk faster. Um, hell yeah. <gasps> Uncovered writings by Antonia. I tore fragments from the devourer, purified them with whatever means seemed to work time and time again. My hope fueled me. Hope that one day I would regain my freedom. That I might see you once more. Perhaps that is why I feel a hint of you in the devourer's dogged pursuit. Will Isabella remember me? Will you resent me, Matthew? Had I listened, coming to Luna Nova would have been a passing fancy. Her worries seemed founded now, but at the time I did not believe. No, I refused to believe her words. She always was the better mother to you, loved you more, even though I was the one who birthed you. I see your inquisitive eyes reflected in hers. Your dark brows furrowed in concentration in just the same way. If I told her I never wanted children, would my burden have eased? But I have loved you more with my words out in the open air. Antonio's child, Matthias, is there any chance I'm his descendant? Is that how the curse is passed on? Why I hear these whispers. I don't know. The tree is a dead guardian. Okay, I'm not going to read all of these things, but it's cool that they're there. New harvest season begins. Okay. So we defeated one harvest season. We unlocked a bunch of stuff. The devourer mutates. His fiends damage you on detection? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's really bad. I don't like that. We're Martin now. Okay, cool. What does Martin have for his ability? Martin. It's a lurker. Oh, make no noise when walking or running, including noisemakers. Martin comes equipped with the warden's strength at the beginning of their season. But but it's locked. Till I get 10 to something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, nine other cards need to be unlocked before unlocking Lurker. Wow. Okay, I guess that's a really good card then. Interesting. Ooh, 
Okay, uh, listen to the whispers. What do we got? Five random tools can be found for free at the farmland's entry point. Ooh, that's nice. Poison water. Okay, don't go in the water. That's, yeah. Fiend alert. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. Um, so there's going to be some... T Ooh, we can select our entry point this time. That's nice. Um, okay, I'm thinking... If we start at the spooky tree. I could start at the spooky tree. And then I could get all the stuff there and then I could quickly move. I think this time I'm really gonna try to go quickly and escape and just sort of see what happens if I don't kill him a few times in a row. Like maybe I'll try to go through this whole season without killing him and we'll see. Okay, because of that, maybe I'll want one of these Vitae and maybe I'll want a bigger elixir and maybe I'll want... Um, there and put those there just to get him you know get him away and then that one's a heal okay sounds good okay where should we start then? i think we'll start over here i like this spot there's gonna be tools wherever we start i think because we have that perk so that should be really nice Yes, okay, we do. There's a stink pot. That's really the only tool that I see though, which is not really what I want, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's okay, I guess. Okay, there's the spooky tree. I'm gonna go here though, because I wanna get all the ambrosia as quickly as I can. Might as well restore our vigor while we're here. Should have spent more of it, maybe. Okay. Oh, frick! <laughs> I forgot the water, even the puddles are poison. Well, that's dumb. That's a bunch of baloney, isn't it? It's hard to see the puddles. My lantern. Like, there's another puddle there! Almost stepped right into that. Is there no more ambrosia here? All right, well, we better get a move on then. There's an ax, okay. I guess I'll take that. See what we can find here. I don't hear him. Ambrosia. Why is there no ambrosia? Or am I just walking past it? Maybe he already came through here and removed it all. There's one. There's a big one. I'm going for it. Part. Can't just duck under there though, because we'll just get hurt. Poison water sucks. I don't like that one at all. It's like 
Definitely one of the more annoying ones that's probably going to end up getting me killed. Ow! I even tried to avoid it and I still got killed. Okay. Being spotted by one of his evil minions. Okay, I don't think I've been to the church yet. Do I go that way? Um, I think I'll go this way. There's an ambrosia. I cannot go into the water though. idea he was right there. Okay. Interact with fiends to disable them. Oh! That's cool. That would be nice. Alright, well, I guess Rip Martin then? Choose for fortification. Use, using rations, rations increases your vigor by five. Um, I like the card shuffle. I feel like that's a good one. All right. Oh, no, we're fine, I guess. How are we fine? I don't know. Um, I think... I think I'm going to get rid of that one. More ambrosia will appear. Yeah, that's good. The cornfields are poisoned. Slowly drain vigor when traversing through them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is getting a little harder. Okay, I want that. I don't use it. I want a hatchet. Um. Get that thing. Blood flat. I mean, I might as well. Okay, then I can decide where I start. So maybe I'll start by the church. And then um, I could lure him there and then go somewhere else. I guess it's good to have some kind of strategy for this game, you know? There's gonna be more ambrosia, so I really wanna just go around and harvest as much as I can as quickly as I can. Go to the church first. Oh, dang it. <laughs> But since there's more of it, that also means that he's going to be destroying more of it. At least I don't have poison water anymore. Now it's poison cornfields, so don't go in the cornfields. Probably walk by so much of this all the time. Do not alert, please. Okay, here's the thingy I can use to distract him, bring him here. He's not here right now. That might be a good thing to do. Maybe? I don't know. I do that and then head elsewhere. Head that way, head to the windmill. Go 
don't go in the cornfields. It's not good for your health. So you can only, you better hang out over there for a while, right? You better. Okay, we're gonna restore our vigor. He's, he's, I think he was like kind of following me, unfortunately. Okay, I see some ambrosia over here, so I guess I'm gonna go down here and get it. Oh god. I want that. Oh, but I can't. It's poisonous. I can't get it. Okay, but I can get. I can go in the water. That's fine. So I'll get this. I'm gonna go to the spooky tree. Get everything at the spooky tree. As much as we can get at the spooky tree. Ow! Wait a bit of ambrosia on this spooky tree. So I want to get all of it. Get the two of blood flask. I guess. There was a big one, wasn't it? Fiend right there. I think he is protecting a big one. Quite a bit. Quite a bit is left. Is that? Yep. I kind of wish I could go through the cornfields. That would be really handy dandy. Right about now. There's some ambrosia here. I could leave. There's a lot left though. It's kind of it feels feels crappy to leave so soon. I guess I could take advantage of I have that potion on, so I can take advantage of that. Because I will be healed. Actually, I have that for another minute. I didn't even think of that. That's a good use of that to counteract the poisonous cornfields. Yes, indeedy do dogs. Let's just go through here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there's a way out. Some ambrosia here. I'm tempted to just like peace out. I almost have a hundred now. I could just go. So we have a lot of nights left where we could get enough. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll just leave. I'll just say see Mel you later. So Mel you later. We don't unlock as much. But it's over quicker. Immune to poison for two minutes. Oh, that's nice. Run and walk faster. Um, yeah. Your rations increase your maximum vigor. Sure. Okay. Your hands. 
Um, maybe... Uh, I still need eight more cards. Like, it's gonna be a while. Before I can get that. Strengthens the pitchfork and devour fragments are poisoned, slowly draining vigor. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay. That sucks. I like the vigor elixir. That was good. And... Antitoxin. Yeah. Good. We'll grab a hatchet. And we'll start at... So here, I like this one. I like it. I like this. I don't know why. It feels like this is just like a safer place to start. I don't know why. It's probably because the tutorial started here. Or maybe it's just a bit. It's all in my head because nowhere is actually safe. Is it? No. Nowhere is actually safe at all. I already hear him as well. Which means he is here somewhere. Only. Um, there's something there. I'm not sure what it is. Probably just a bell. has spooky things on it. I need to heal again already. I don't have the, the card that makes my bigger things work well, so I need two to heal up. It definitely hurts a bit. There's an item here. Pitchfork. Dang it. I think I'll just go if he's here. He's contaminating everything. Let's go to the next place. Big jerkwad. Okay, he hasn't been here yet. What is this gummy? Candy toxin? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I, thought I, I thought I could get lucky and just hide. It didn't work. Oh, Ridge. Oh, this is going horribly wrong. Loiterer. Slowly regenerate your will crouch. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. I mean, the, the farther you go and the more stuff you unlock, the easier it's going to get, I guess. And the harder. At full vigor, repurpose rations to collect ambrosia instead. Ooh, that's nice. Kind of, but then you'd be like getting rid of your bigger things. Which would be quite difficult as well. Okay. Alright, come on, come in, come in. I can do this. I can do this. I, I definitely did a lot better at the game when I was actually trying to win to like kill him, but I don't I don't seem to be doing as well when I'm Trying to get the, just trying to get a bunch of ambrosia. 
don't know why that is. Probably because I'm just being a little more careless. Maybe this is a game where being offensive is like really just the powerful way to go, but it does take longer. I don't know. I do not know what is the best. That guy sees me, so I can't go that way. I already see some Ambrora down here. So I will go towards it. And I see a Huey. Which I will also get. Honestly, like, I might get game over because I need a lot of Ambrosia. And I don't have that many knights left because I keep dying. So that's no good, is it? It is not, in fact, very good. Can't see me. He's facing the other way. He doesn't know anything. He's none the wiser. You can kind of juke him around corners if you're careful. How would being immune to toxins help me here? Would really at this point in time. Icky, you didn't like it. Oh. 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 Okay. He's really dumb, too. That's good. Chugging through those bigger things. Ugh, okay, I guess we'll go to the spooky tree. be able to do that. If you don't have the perk, then you're just boned. Oh yeah, I'll take that. That should help. Okay. Let's get all that we can. Tree this time? It's not. Okay. We'll go into the spooky cornfield of spookiness.
This is so tense. Sorry, I've, I've stopped talking as much because I'm just like trying so hard. <sighs> I'm trying to be good. It's not really working out. Okay, this area is kind of repurposed. Yeah, we might as well. What did I get? 30. Ooh, dang. Okay, maybe we'll just do that a bit. And, uh, and then just peace out. Because we don't need that much more all, all together in order to, you know, not lose. Maybe there's one other one here. Good. There might be another one over here, too. Yep, there is. So that's really powerful if you don't have to use the heals. Okay, I feel good. I think I'm just gonna leave now. Like, I have, I have enough. So, let's just go. I know. New structures can be entered, which cause the devourer to lose track of you. Fully regenerate vigor once. Oh, a coffin. Cool. It's like a hiding. It's like a locker in a horror game. <laughs> Receive vigor when damaging the devourer. Run and walk faster. Increase the range of your throwing tool. I want to run and walk faster. Every successful management. Um, I know. That one. Try out the new one. This is the final one. The final night. More ambrosia will appear. Oh, thank God. Okay, and then lurkers are really annoying. Okay. Prepare your tools. Do I need to look at my hand? Um, I think it will just give me that one because I don't have the other one. I think I might get rid of this and this. Because I really want to get the hideout one. Get those again, those are really good. is the final night of this of this season. Let's see if we can actually win or get through it. I mean, we don't technically we don't need more ambrosia, right? So we could just kind of not try too hard. But I think it's also important to try a little bit. The more the barrier. There's a lot. We do have extra ambrosia too, so we should probably take advantage of that. And I don't think he's here right now. Okay. Oh, buckets of beans. I can't go under there. I feel like he just appeared there and turned off my lantern. That was a jump scare, oh my gosh. Excuse me, I re- Oh, frick. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, don't walk on that. It's 
loud stuff. I guess I'm gonna have to let have to let him have that one, huh? I guess. He's right there. What a jerk! Okay, we've got 279. I could go elsewhere and just let him have this one, this one, I guess. Probably what I'm gonna do. Be a jerk. Uh. I really want that. For sure. Doesn't seem to be working. So that's good for me. There's another one over here. Let's take this now. So we can grab another one. Or more. Through here. Ooh, I've never been under here before. A body. Lovely. There is a there's also some up above. It's probably more important for me to get. I wish I could have that one that repurposes the figure things every time. That is sick. Alright. I could leave. That is an option for me right now. I have enough. But I also kind of feel like, ooh, I should try to get a little bit more. Maybe that's a foolhardy decision. Could be. I see some ambrosia up ahead. I'm gonna go for it. I feel like I'm getting kind of lucky with, like, his placement and where I've decided to explore this time. The ambiance has changed. Oh, it's like a sea. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so it's behind here. That's good to know. I can't uh, actually see it on my radar, but now I know. I can run there and escape. That's so nice. Uh oh. Oh. I just literally appeared right there and turned off my light. I guess it turns off my light because, you know, it doesn't want to be unfair. If he pops up and he just sees me right away, it just makes more sense to turn the light off. more than one. 
One of the only games where being in a coffin is... Ah! Good thing. Chicken. He's real dumb. I saw an Ambrosia then. way and not fall in the hole as well while we're at it spooky church time ambrosia time then spooky church time oh, yes There's lots of ambrosia here awesome I'm definitely gonna leave soon. I'm just taking my time. Okay, so I'm over here. Let's not discount the small little groupings of it. It's weird how it gets so desaturated when you come into this little place. Very unsettling. Six left. I have so much. I really feel like I should leave. I'm gonna head towards the outside. Oh, there's an exit right there. Okay. I think we went right there. No. I don't. Let's just go. Let's go. Okay. Holy water, throw at the devourer to reduce the amount of damage it causes for three minutes. March 8th, year. Ah, oh, what's the point? The sodding expedition was a mistake of colossal proportions. No one's gonna find this report. I did everything asked of me and more. Kept my head down, made myself useful, killed anyone who knew more than they should. Now I'm stranded in Luna Nova with a contingent of overly sensitive, fragile, good for nothings. I was the one who figured out we should tear the monster's sodding flesh while they complain like squawking hens when it's their turn. I hear them all talk behind my back. They think I know nothing outside of fighting, and they're the ones who don't see re reality. Every monster night, they growl and whimper like sick dogs, then pretend everything's fine in the morning. Luna Nova is as much a war zone as any battlefield I've been to. One person puts on the mask, but others wait out the night. Delivering. I swear, mom and dad sounded like that some nights. And they cursed too. Secondary landmarks. Okay. Runaways. New harvest season begins. Okay. Damaging the devourer also damages you for the next five seconds. Oh man, well, that stinks. Enid the Chosen turn. Enid. All right. What does she have? Move a lot faster while crouching. Ooh, that's super nice. That is super duper nice. I like that. We still have hideout and chosen entries, which are really good. I love this hideout one. If you want to see more of this, do let me know. Otherwise, I got I got more really cool things lined up. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your eyeballs. Until next time, stay cheesy.